Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Coslix and today I'm going to be showing you guys a Brawlhalla Lance guide. So we're going to be going over the true combos on Lance, when to use them, which strings you should use, and just the general idea on how to play Lance. And uh, you're hearing it from... Uh, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty sure I'm the best Lance player in the world. Obviously, it's like Wesley and some other top players, but um, definitely in North America, that is confirmed. But um, we're going to be going over just the Lance basics and whatnot. If you do enjoy these guides, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know in the comments if you need any help with this. I'll respond to as many as I can find if you have any issues with Lance and whatnot. And also, by the way, this video is a guide. So on guides like 80% are not subscribed over a period of time. I'm sure if you're watching this, you might be new to my channel. I am a Brawlhalla Pro and I'd really appreciate it if you hit that sub because the odds are you probably aren't. So go check that, hit that sub. We're trying to hit 200K. I post a lot more Brawlhalla content, so uh, check that out. Okay, anyways, let's get right into this guide. And basically for this guide, I just want to go over that we're going to talk in terms of health. So if my opponent is at X health, then they should do this. If my opponent is at this health, then you should do this. And we're gonna go over it in that style instead of me just showing you the combos. It's more which combos to use and when. Um, before we get into all of this, I do wanna show you what I'm using to set up the practice. So if you go into training room then you hit your options, make sure you have show damage on, show stun on, show hitboxes on, show hurt boxes on, item spawning off this is optional but i have it off and then damage reset on and position reset on make sure position reset on only happens when the bot or whatever is at the center or easily accessible and if the bot isn't easily accessible then all you have to do is go to the top hit the cpu make sure position reset is off and then we can move around. And wherever you wanna place the bot, put them where you want them. And then you hit position reset on, and then just go back to control mode player. And now the bot will reset. So now we're gonna be going over what to use and when. So when the opponent is at white to yellow health, your best option for damage buildup are, we're gonna start with two combos and then some strings. So true combo, which only works at white to yellow health, is side light downer. This is a true combo, again, works on any decks, any health, whatever, or not any health, but white to yellow-ish. Um, you'll see why it doesn't hit um, in a little bit. But why this combo is so good is it sets up for one dodge frame follow-ups. So side light downer end light is one dodge frame. There's also side light downer D light, which is also one dodge frame. You can use either or depending on what you like more. I personally would go for end light just because it's a little safer than D light, a bit less frames, and it gives you a lot of stage control to work with. I only go for end light if I know my opponent doesn't have a dodge, but often players also just won't dodge one frame combos. So if you're in like gold, platinum, even low diamond, side light down air end light will work more often than not. And this again, huge huge damage build up it's like at least 40 to 60 damage like that's nuts he's already in deep yellow health that's crazy right that is a very good option uh the next option i'm going to be showing you guys in white to yellow health um there's a couple strengths and true combos these work at all health that you should keep in mind so things like down light neutral light is actually two dodge frames if i hit it properly why is it four dodge frames there we go three dodge frames maybe i can get it might be three, never mind, it's three. It used to be two, I'm just dumb. Doesn't really matter, it's three dodge frames. I wouldn't necessarily go for this combo unless you're in gold, but what I would do is after down light, do something that covers a large amount of area. So like down light, like Nair for instance, I know people in Brazil do this, they'll like jump reverse Nair, or like jump chase dodge reverse Nair, things like that or down light jump down air for instance you want something that covers a large amount of space there's also like down light side air you could even do down light fall and then side air it all depends on how your opponent moves but strings like that are definitely things to keep in mind there's also another string which is like neutral light side light which is good after side light there end light so you can do like side light there, end light, and then you could side light neutral air. You know what I mean? Work on these strings and how to keep going. And they work really well at 
yellow health. The only thing I'd keep in mind is when you learned all these strings and whatnot, keep in mind your what your opponent's doing. So if your opponent's dodging out of them, don't go for them. These will work against gold players and maybe platinum players, but diamond players are going to dodge out of things like downlight neutralite. You know what I mean? So what you're going to want to do is adapt. So if your opponent, let's say, is dodging to the right, then you can practice that. So set the dodge to the right, he dodges right, and then cover for it. You know what I mean? That This is more of a higher level tactic, but it's just something to keep in mind. If it is not working, realize why it's not working, and then make adaptions. Because if I do down light and light, if he is dodging right, then I can't keep going. But if I do a side light, then I can keep going. You know what I mean? So practice these strings. These will work at white to even red health, and they're great for damage buildup. So specifically at white health, there's side light down there, which is your only really true combo that only works in white. And it's the best true combo that you should be using to build up damage. Okay, now we're going to talk from yellow to like light red health. Again, all those strings that we were talking about earlier work, but they're not going to be as easy to hit. And that's because the bot or your opponent has taken some damage. So if I side air, I can't really follow up a side air. You know what I mean? If I down or ground it, I can. But if I down air in the air, it's a bit harder. It's not like I can end light. Like if I go like that, I can't end light anymore. I have to make adaptations. So what I should do, by the way, when the opponent is like yellow to light red health, is if I land a side light, always go for side light neutral air. This is a guaranteed two hit combo and it puts you in a very good position to safely follow up. And more often than not, what I like to do after side light neutral air is I'll do a side light neutral air down air. And this doesn't really work tight in like orange health. It works better in like white health, but the reason why it's so good is because down air is a very, very quick move. So it's very easy for me to do this move and not get punished for it. So I'll go for this a lot and it covers dodge reads down. However, if my opponent is dodging up, for instance, and I don't know if you saw this recently, but I played against Zexus and he was jumping and dodging up, then you can do like another Nair follow-up and then chase dodge and then Nair again. You know what I mean? It's all about seeing what your opponent does and then adapting. So if I do side light Nair and then they dodge up, I can Nair again and then recover. You know what I mean? And then it's almost a kill option. Side light neutral air is your best option for building up damage. And then you can continue after that. If they dodge down, you down air. And then if you down air, you might even be able to be lucky enough and land like a Ser if they jump. You know what I mean? So if I down air, the bot might jump and then I can hit a Ser. Obviously I missed that, but your opponent might jump, etc. Some other options that might be good at like this health is if you hit raw nair, you can actually follow that up pretty easily. So you can nair again. It just takes a little bit of time. You have to be ready. Doing like a nair and then like a reverse nair is also very good. Um, if you hit a nair, nair sair is a good option. There's also nair down air if they dodge downwards. Um, there's nair jump recovery or just nair recovery as long as you're not hitting it grounded. But things like these strings, they work in orange health. So knowing which ones work in this health point is very important. And just kind of practicing this stuff in training room. Because if I do like a raw Sarah, I can't do like a neutral light follow up. I need to like chase dodge Nair, you know what I mean? Like I could do like a Nair, but I need to like chase dodge. It's kind of weird. I can even chase dodge upwards and then down Nair, you know what I mean? By the way, if you don't know what the chase dodge is, is after you land an attack, you can actually hold a direction and then spam the dodge key. And then you can j dodge towards that direction. That's why you're chase dodging, you're chasing them. And you can actually chain two chase dodges together. So if I chase dodge, I can chase dodge twice. So let's say I do this. I uh, Maybe you have, to ch you have to change direction. No, I did it twice there. Did I do it twice there? So I do the down air, dodge, and then do I dodge again? No, I didn't do it twice there. I go horizontal and then vertical. You can kind of see here how I chain them together. So I did horizontal and then I chained it to a vertical. You can go in any direction as long as it's not away. So like I can't chase dodge away because you're not chasing. You see what I mean? Anyways, that's a chase dodge. You can use it to follow up even more. And it is very important when following up on Lance when they're in like that orange health point. Okay, now let's get into the kill options in red. 
So when the opponent's at like 140, and let's say you hit a side light, your best option, as long as you're not fighting against like Pierre or Java, is actually side light recovery. And the reason why this is so good is it's only one dodge frame, so it is actually jumpable. But if they dodge it, or it's not jumpable, it's dodgeable. It's one dodge frame, it is dodgeable, not jumpable. My bad, you need two dodge frames to jump. Side light recovery is not jumpable, but it is dodgeable because it's only one dodge frame. So what this means is if they do dodge it, then recovery is so quick that you can actually react and it puts you in a very good position to hit them again. So let's say they dodge randomly, right? We're gonna set the bot to randomly dodge. I'll do a side light recovery, he'll dodge, and then I'll be in a good position to like land a falling side air. Or I can like side light recovery. Okay, he didn't dodge there. Side light recovery, oh, now he dodged, and then I can hit him again. You know what I mean? Side light recovery, he didn't dodge. I'm gonna set the damage a little bit more just so it kills. And then I can stare, you know what I mean? Side of the recovery. Okay, now he dodged, I side air. And it just puts you in that position where you can kind of get ready if they actually dodge the combo. Okay, he dodged it, I jump side air. He dodged it, I do a falling stare, slightly missed. Okay, he dodged it, down air, I missed the side for light recovery. But you see what I mean. So when they're in red health, do a side light recovery. But if they dodge it, be ready to hit them again. Okay. So that's kind of all you need to know with killing with Lance. Another thing is if they're jumping a lot and you can't actually hit side light recovery, your best option is actually just like a jump recovery, just a raw recovery. And the reason why this is good is it's actually very good at conditioning your opponent. So conditioning is kind of hard to explain, but basically it's a thought process of me making my opponent think they can hit me when realistically they can't. So for instance, if my opponent is in the air above me, I can do a jump recovery. And because recovery is so quick, if you don't charge it, I'm in a position now where I'm falling. I don't have that many recovery frames. It is very hard to hit me and punish properly. So then my opponent will go above me thinking that they can punish me, let's say with a spear downer or a sword downer. And then I'll use an exhaust recovery. So it's like, hey, baited, and then I hit them. You know what I mean? Oh, you think you can hit me? I'm just going to hit you again very quickly. This is a very good option. It catches people at all skill level. I use it very often to kill. The only downside is if you use a jump recovery and then you miss your attack, make sure you touch the ground so you can get that recovery back or it's going to be hard to get back to stage. It's risky when you are in red health. But other than that, just using raw, raw recoveries and exhaust recoveries is a very good way of killing your opponent. So keep that in mind. If they're on the ground, use side light recovery and then side air or whatever. If they're in the air, use recovery and exhaust recovery. And if you want to play even safer, you can also use Nair. And Nair will actually lead into recovery fairly well. And if they dodge it, then you're in position to keep going. You know what I mean? So I'll do like a Nair recovery. Oh, he dodged it. Okay, I missed that. Nair recovery. Oh, he dodged it. Sarah, you, you know what I mean? You just want to be throwing out options. Oh, he dodged it. Okay, then I hit him again. Now I know he doesn't have a dodge. And then if they're jumping it, then maybe you can like Nair chase dodge up recovery. You know what I mean? It, it, it really depends. There are options to kill. You just need to get a little creative and work on conditioning. So make your opponent think they can hit you. Realistically, you're in perfect punish position. So that's kind of it with my Lance Guide. Basically, side light down there is your true combo at white health. Side light neutral air is at is your true combo like halfway like orange health and then side light recovery is your combo or string to actually kill and there's also options to kill such as side air and recovery just kind of depend on you conditioning your opponent and also for building up damage there are follow-ups like sarah neutral light if i just make him not dodge sarah neutral light is two dodge frames but it only works in white things like dare neutral light uh, dare down light. This is a true combo, by the way. If you happen to hit a stack there, there's dare down light, which is true. I actually forgot to mention this. It's pretty situational, but it is a true combo that you should do at white health. But at later health, dare end light, and like also a bit later health, there's also like dare sair, you know what I mean? Or like dare jump side there. Basically, just work on your strings, kind of have fun with it, make your own things, get good with just having fun and going ham in the training room. But 
learn the true combos and learn how to rely on them when you need to. Guys, let me know if you need me to explain anything in the comments. This is a lot of me talking and I can get why it's hard to understand. So if you need anything, let me know. The most like comments I'll definitely be responding to because those are things that other people are having issues with. So I'll definitely respond. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care. Peace.